told her was, touch me not. Now watch this closely. At this point, he's raised from the dead. But he's not been resurrected. The process of Lies. resurrection. His body has not put on the incorruptible. Lies. His body has not put on immortality. Yes, it did. That's why he told her, touch me not. More lies. I've not yet ascended to my father and your father. But then he told her, go and tell my brother that I'm back up in a lie. Go and tell him. Now watch this closely. That's what he told her when he presented himself to her. When you go to Luke, the 24th chapter in verse 39, when they up in the house, now he's been resurrected at this time, the process of him ascending unto the father while she going to tell him, what he told her the message to go tell, he ascends on up. In ascending up to the heavens, this is when the father put on him the immortality. More lies, y'all. This is when the father put on him the incorruptible. Notice how I keep saying put on him. He died for our sins, according to the scriptures. And that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures now let me stop right there when the bible talks about jesus christ rose again the third day that's talking about his resurrection you got old crazy tom over there tom's mumbo jumbo they ain't nothing but mumbo jumbo saying that when jesus christ rise from the dead that's not his resurrection he's talking about a whole separate resurrection he's a man who thinks the resurrection is already passed keep that in mind right so when the bible tells us jesus christ died was buried and resurrected or you can say he rose from the dead you can't preach a whole nother time in which uh the resurrection happened when he ascended that's a lie from the pits of hell we keep it simple like paul right christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures that have to do with his resurrection it's that simple you can't add on or take away amen but let me keep reading and that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. After that, he was seen above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. Let's further elaborate in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, about a true apostle. We're not talking about these false prophets like Thomas. He's a false prophet. He's not the prophet. He preached another gospel. He preached that Jesus Christ rose from the dead, and then he resurrected when he ascended, and then he ascended again. Man, that's crazy, right? Let's further elaborate. 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, let's start at 12. It says, Now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? So when Christ rose from the dead, that's his resurrection. Why are you preaching a whole nother resurrection? And you don't even believe in the first resurrection because you believe that already passed. Beware of these so-called individuals who call themselves apostles and prophets. He's being exposed again, right? Now, for the sake of time, let me bump on down here to verse number 15. It says, yeah, and we are found false witnesses of God because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead rise not. Well, Tom is a false witness of Christ, preaching a whole nother resurrection, right? Now, we testify of God that he raised up Christ, and that is his resurrection. Don't add on, right? First Corinthians the 15th chapter I'm still in. Let's go at uh, verse number 20. It says, but now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. So when Christ rose from the dead, that's his resurrection. He taught you that he is the resurrection. So how are you going to preach a whole nother resurrection and make him being raised from the dead separate from his resurrection? No, you can't do that, right? For since by man came death. That's right, by Adam came death, right? By man came also the resurrection of the dead. By man also came the resurrection of the dead. That's right. When Jesus Christ was raised up, that is his resurrection. It's very simple. For the sake of time, I'm in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. Let's look at verse 42. It says this. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. That's right. The natural man, Jesus Christ, died. Right? 
That's the natural body. The Bible teaches there's a natural body and there's a spiritual body. When he got up, that spiritual body is the body that cannot die. Tom don't believe that. He said when he got up, he got up as a natural man and his spiritual body didn't come about until he ascended. That's a lie from the pits of hell. We know the Bible teaches us there's a natural body and there's a spiritual body. That's the immortal body that cannot die or corrupt. Verse number 44, it is sown a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. So when Jesus Christ was raised up, that's the same as his resurrection. That's called the spiritual body. The Bible tells us there is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. You don't believe me, look at 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. And that was verse number 44. So let's wind this up. Uh, Romans 6 and 9. Amen. It says, knowing that Christ being raised from the dead. Let me stop right there. That's his resurrection. Dive no more. So when he was raised from the dead, he don't die no more. I told you he took on the spiritual body. That's immortal. He don't die no more. That's simple. Knowing that Christ being raised from the dead dies no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. So it's that simple. Hey Amen. I understand that John the 20th chapter have got a lot of people perplexed. And they want to, you know, discuss about it. And it makes a good topic of conversation. Right? Because when Jesus said unto you, test me not. Right there. Cause just because Jesus said test me not. But if you read another part of the gospel, they held him by his feet. And that was still Mary Magdalene. Right? So you got to put all the gospel together. He told her, touch me not, for I have not yet ascended to my father. So he's saying that within that time, even before he ascended over there in the book of Acts, that he ascended another time. And that's when he got his resurrected body. No, that's a lie from the pits of hell. Stop adding on and taking away. Amen. The scriptures say what it's saying. It's saying for a reason. Amen. Now he says to his father. Amen. And to your father. And to my God and your God. See, Tom don't believe that Jesus Christ, according to the scripture, God of God and the Father. That's what the scripture say. He just told you that the Father is his God. Who are you going to believe? A false prophet or the Holy Word of God? I don't believe, believe the Bible. Amen. Amen. So that's it, man. I want to get out of here short and sweet. Until the next time, y'all be blessed.